Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to generate basic design strips for an elevated two-way concrete slab in RAM concept. For this video, we will show you how to model your span segments in the program. As you can see, I've already opened my latitude design spans plan and my longitude design spans plan. Now we have two major workflows that we can utilize for modeling your span segments. You can create them manually or you can ask the program to generate them for you. Let's go ahead and show you each process. Now we're going to start with a manual span segment modeling tool. Now it is important to note that we have already in the previous video specified all of our span segment properties for this particular model. So once you're ready to manually start modeling your span segments, you're going to click on the span segment icon with a single left click. Then you're going to notice that your cursor changes to show you that you're in an active modeling mode. Now note that you can use any of these snap tools to ensure that you're snapping to the correct location. Automatically, you will be able to snap to any column center points. So for this particular direction, the latitude direction, I'm going to create my span segments. My first span segment will be from column to column, and then I will continue along that line. Now the two adjacent span segments will again create a frame. I'm going to continue this process for each line of design spans. Let's go ahead and take a look at the longitude direction. Now for the longitude direction, I'd like to ask the program to generate the design spans for me. Now it's important to note that I should return to enter my span segment properties if anything in the longitude direction is different than it was in the latitude direction. For this particular model, it isn't. All of the parameters should be the same, so I'm ready to proceed on to generating my design spans. To do that, I'm going to go up to my main toolbar and select the Generate Spans icon. Here, I can ask the program to generate spans in a particular direction. I'm going to select the longitude direction. I'm also going to enter the orientation. And for the longitude direction, I'm orienting them according to the Y axis, which would basically be up and down on my page. If I'm happy with all the other parameters here, we can go ahead and click OK, and you can see that our span segments have been generated for us. Now, depending upon your particular model geometry, you may find it more convenient to use the manual workflow or the generated workflow, or perhaps a combination of both. In addition, it's also important to note that all these span segments can be selected and all of these tools can be used to manipulate the geometry after they are created, either using the stretch or move or copy commands and so forth. If you wanted to also change the properties of any specific span segment, you can select it in the main window using the selection tool right click and say selection properties and this will bring you back to the design span properties dialog for that specific segment. At this point this completes our process for modeling our span segments for an elevated concrete slab in RAM concept. If you found this video helpful please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.